Hello, this is Angie with the CountrySheetCottage.net, and I'm here today making an indestructible binder for back to school because my kids drive me crazy all year tying binders up. I'm going to use the ever magical duct tape to make a binder that's going to last all year. You can pick up your supplies at consumercrafts.com, and this hangout is sponsored by them as part of a series on craftyhangouts.com, and these are all crafts under $10, so duct tape is really inexpensive. And we're only going to use a partial of two rolls because I kind of made it pretty. I'm going to make another one live for you right now. And you can see how to make your, the binder indestructible for your child. You can see the inside of this one. And that way they won't be coming back for another one mid-year. Okay, so I'm going to switch camera angles so you can see my workspace better. And get started. Alright, here's a binder. It's just a plain black binder. It's kind of scratched up, seen better days. Okay, so these are the two tapes I used on my first binder. So it was a silver foil and this wavy tape here. I'm going to change it up a little bit and add in this chevron tape with the silver. And we're going to go, we went this way on the example binder and I'm going to go this way to this example. I'm also going to be using a pair of scissors. And I've chose to use these duck edition scissors from Fiskars. They have a green handle. And duct tape actually does not stick to these black blades. So I have two different pair, and I'm going to be using those today. You can use regular scissors. The adhesive on the duct tape sometimes gets kind of stuck to your scissors. So you have to excuse the noise. I'm going to kind of do a striped pattern on this one. So... Let's go to the edge here. If you use regular scissors, you may have to sort of pull the duct tape off of them or clean your blades occasionally as the adhesive will get caught up on them. And you can actually just start the duct tape rows, and I'm going to kind of do a stripe maybe. I don't know. We'll see where this one goes. To start the duct tape rows, and you can see I'm leaving it just a little long. So you can see that it's overhanging the edge just a little bit. Okay, now the fun of watching me find the end of this roll. That didn't take too long. Okay, so we're going to cover the entire outside. So what usually happens during a typical school year is we start off with a nice, new, pretty binder at the beginning of the school. And a few weeks in, and then I've tried all different brands. Maybe my kids are the exception and they're really hard on binders. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to matter what brand I try. A couple of months into the school year, they come home, the edges are all ragged, it's falling apart, mom, what are we going to do? And I started adding duct tape to it. We had a one binder last all year last year with the help and magic of duct tape. So this year I thought, you know, why not just start off the year with duct tape? That way it doesn't even look like I repaired it mid-year because they're going to just start like this. All right, on this one it's important to note when I get to this edge, the way I'm going to handle that. So you still want the binder to be flexible, flexible, obviously, to be able to open and close. So as you can see, it's closed now. When I get to that edge, I'm going to leave it closed. So this uses a partial roll of two different kinds of duct tape. Grab the duct tape your kids love. There are so many wide varieties of patterns. You can go to consumercrafts.com and search duct tape. And you can see tons of patterns and colors. And like I said, just let your kids pick what they love. So try to keep this as straight as possible. I got that piece a little crooked. All right, now push it into the ridge where it's going to fold back. Then lay it over that side. Again, try to keep as few wrinkles as possible. Keep everything as straight as possible. And now you can bend it back and everything's fine on this side. So we're good. Alright, we're going to flip it over. Next color silver. Line it up. And again, press it into where that folded ridge is. Cut this off. Now, so my kids have trouble 
with the outside and with those silly pockets on the inside. Maybe they shoved too much in them. I don't know. I'm just going to reinforce around the edge of this too. So I'm leaving everything long. I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to put another strip of duct tape all the way around the outside edge. That way the edges are extra reinforced. And those pockets on the inside will get extra reinforcement when we put that row of duct tape around the edge. So this stripe one is starting out kind of cute. You could actually let the kids do this if you trust them. Um, mine, I've, we're out of that roll. I'm going to open another silver roll. Two of mine are teenagers, and I would absolutely just turn them loose with a couple rolls of duct tape. Let them decorate their own binder. And you can see how smooth these new Fisker scissors cut this duct tape. So yeah, I'm kind of liking it for duct tape crafts, I must say. So we're going to put one more piece and we'll cut it off here in just a second because obviously we just need a little where well, I got that one. Very wrinkled. Of course the last one I messed up on, right? Okay. Now again, we can bend this back Everything's fine. I'm just going to go around the edges. And this is a smaller pair of those Fisker scissors. A small pair of scissors would be very good for this. And I just stick my scraps sort of in a pile. Easy to clean up later. You could actually make, if you Google search, duct tape pencil pouch. I'm sure you can find tons of tutorials on how to make a duct tape pencil pouch. So you can make a sort of matching duct tape accessories for back to school which would be amazing. And I'm cutting this and you can see the edges are very very raw. All this is going to get covered up. We just don't want too much excess. So we're going to get rid of all this. Alright, and I'm going to open it up this part. So once you use duct tape to coordinate all your kids' accessories, then they can go back to school in style. And little will anyone know that you didn't spend very much at all. A couple rolls of duct tape will absolutely do tons of these binders or any other craft you want to make. It goes a long, long way. Don't be scared just because I ran out of the silver. I've used it tons of times on different projects. I just ran out while I'm live on air. I think I'm going to use the silver again to go around the edges. Okay. So I would love to hear from y'all in the comments and tell me what color or pattern of duct tape is your favorite. You know, and I would be hard pressed to pick a favorite. There are so many varieties I love. There was one with owls on it one time that I found that I adored. There's bacon duct tape if you're Teenage son is a bacon lover. You could add bacon duct tape to all his school accessories. Wide variety of neons, which are new. neons hot with the teenage crowd, anyway. Alright, now this time we are going to be more careful about the length. Put it 
pretty much right. And we're going to wrap it around this edge. And here's the tricky part. This is where the inside pocket is. And where that inside pocket needs to open, you need to slit the duct tape so that when you're done, they can still get to their pocket. And again, this is another part that always tears up my kids' binders. So that's why I love this project. All right. Again, be careful with the length on this one. So they're going to go right over where it is. Fold it over. Cut a slit where that pocket is on the inside. Make two more strips. The only thing tricky about doing these last strips is you have to be careful around where the opening is. That does your binder workings. Okay, so we're going to open it all the way flat. From one side all the way to the other. Again, get down inside where it bends. Cut it off flat. This binder has square corners. The one, other one I did as an example has rounded corners. And what I had to do was trim right here into the corner and make a nice edge on the inside. So be careful if it has rounded corners or anything. Alright, so here we are to those inside clips. You're going to need to trim in and cut off excess and then fold that over. I'm actually not as worried about wrinkles on the inside. So I'm leaving a few, but don't, wouldn't leave too many. All right, I have one more piece to go. I'll be done with this, and we'll be ready for the new school year. My kids actually had their first day of school on August 1st, so they are already back to school. I know some people go later. I hope this video finds you before your kids head back to school. Otherwise, you can make this mid-school year when they come home with that Petora binder. Again, I'm going to trim for this opening and press everything down. And this one is done. You can see my pocket's still open. Everything still works. But this binder is now indestructible. Let me set you back to where you can see my face. Hello. So now I have two indestructible binders to send the kids back to school. So pick whatever duct tape you like from consumercrafts.com and make these indestructible binders for cheap for back to school. So again, thank you for joining me today and watch craftyhangouts.com for tons more crafts that are less than $10 all week. And you can check out pictures of these binders and more about them on my website, thecountrysheetcottage.net. Thank you. Bye.